Good evening. I have here with me Bante LSC. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Uh, we are going to discuss some questions I've been given for my art history class at Folsom University. So first question is, what do you think visual arts does as it plays its role in society? Like, what is its role in society? Um, really, it's huge if you think about it. Um, whenever you have an album or whether a brand new artist or um, even an anticipated artist comes out with something, the first thing you see is a visual artist. So it really much puts a kind of audio visual of how you feel the album or anything that like sounds. So he, um, if anything, it can move an entire movement of people. Definitely. Do you think that in some cases, what, like the visual art of that work? could instantly turn someone off or on about it, like, immediately? Like, I'm going to love this album just because I already like the art, or I'm going to hate this album just because I hate the art? Um, actually, definitely. And um, what some artists do, especially new ones, is they'll have a art piece where what they'll see a song um, will be, and if a lot of people don't see it that same way, then they'll automatically dislike an album from um, just what they think is going to flow or what they think the song is about. So basically, in agreement that that's in the way to test somebody's video. Yeah. Uh, in our current society, we have like really forwarded our communications and media technology. Do you think that's having a positive or negative effect on us and how easily accessible everything is? Um, well, good question. Um, I remember when I was younger and I wanted to release music and I felt like it was hard. I didn't know how to get it out or how to get other people to hear it without physically going where I needed to go. Um, so it's, if anything, it's really improved um, the creative process, being able to just throw something online and having everybody to hear it. You know, I don't even have to tell anybody, but from all I can have to do it. So um, definitely a great thing that media is there. Some people see it as a bad thing when you think about money, but music is, you know, it's music. You want it to be heard as well. Are you currently making money from what you're putting up? I'm definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then that's, yes, then yes, that works. Yes, I am, I am. Um, but yeah. uh, so, within our industry, what sort of images do you think are coming up a lot or even frequent for that? Right now, surprisingly, the biggest thing that I'm seeing is a lot of, um, well, excuse me for the, for the uh, class, but a lot of big butts everywhere. Uh, if you notice, there's a lot of um, the female, the whole figure thing, that, that there's a lot of pushing of that. There's a lot of heavy hitters on the whole female image um, that is really being pushed out towards a lot of people and it's selling it's really big right now. Yeah. So what would you say would maybe be your favorite visual artist or style of visual art in general? Hmm. My favorite visual artist, um, actually the person that kind of got me into music was Steve Prince. Um, but even though he's mainly, you know, he, he has music, he uses visuals and a lot to just represent himself. If you think about it, I think it was just recently he changed his name from Prince into an actual symbol, you know. And it's something that if you see the symbol, you know that it's Prince if you kind of know, if you follow him or if he's one of your fans. Um, but that's just a good example of how he's using visual to represent his music. So, I love that. I love that about him. So would you then also say your favorite style would be? The ones that go in conjunction with music? Definitely. Um, the ones that can kind of make you think about music differently, differently mm -hmm. and that's the ones that I will actually look out for respect. Awesome. Um, and how would you say famous artworks that you know of have influenced you? Like, famous could be an any scale, like, including what you just said about the mm -hmm. How would you say it's currently influencing your own creativity? Well, um, Actually, going into one of my favorite time periods was anything with gladiators. So, I, I, when I was young, I used to tell them, I'm going to gladiators Halloween. Um, so, that time period, the artwork re represented in that the whole empire, that the whole, um, just beautiful, if you think about it that way. So, not only that, when you think about that time period, you think about the music as well. Whenever you see gladiators, you see, you hear a lot of percussion. So, a lot in my music, I use like a lot of 
big percussion sounds all the toms and like they'd be really in your face and it's really because watching old school movies like that and just you know so you hear that in the background so that's probably a good way to explain that too. definitely uh so thank you for your time no, you're good. Uh, i am zach height hey i'm vante oc 